Peace, family. Peace, family. tracking we on it family Peace, love, and abundance, right? I hope everybody out there is trying to become the best version that they can be and vibrate to the highest frequency they can vibrate to on this physical plane. So before we get started, okay, we got a good topic that I want to talk to you guys about. You know, just the ancestors is moving me to talk about uh, the queen and certain journeys that he, she had to go through and certain bloodlines who had to go through the same journey to get up into the, the northern hemisphere, okay? Uh, we're going to talk about it, all right? But before we talk about it, I want to let you guys know. The crystal business is still going. Okay, I still got the Herkimer Diamonds. You guys need to order these, some of these Herkimer Diamonds, all right? Herkimer Diamonds is very important when it comes to tapping into the astral realm, family. Dreaming, okay? Getting certain uh, uh, getting certain um, questions answered, okay? These divine diamonds help tap you into this, okay? It helps. It just helps you, all right? Also, um, I want to advertise a product, too. Okay, Nevis, all right, I just picked this up. You guys need to go get this. This has the ashwagandha, um, the, the maca, okay? A maca is a super root from Purdue, and it's a natural energy booster. So somebody who doesn't want to drink coffee, like me, I don't drink no coffee. You feel me? I drink my green teas, and I maybe put a little bit of the, the maca in there, and that should just gives you a, a natural boost of energy, okay? You also got the mushroom in there, the, uh, the relish mushroom. The medical mushroom supports internal um, internal balance and resilience. Okay, we're living in a time now where these motherfuckers is these, they playing with this is biological warfare family, biological warfare. So to strengthen the organs within, you got to deal with some of these mushrooms. Okay, chaga mushroom, uh, relish mushroom. Okay.
okay? Even cybacillin, all these mushrooms actually help strengthen the internal organs within the body, okay? And another herb that is in this is ashwagandha, okay? Ashwagandha is a herb, um, and it's, it's been used for centuries to help the body adapt to stress, okay? We know, especially in Babylon, my nigga, they set up mad fucking crazy shit, bro. Spiritual warfare, my nigga. So, you know, they're prone in you to stress because they know how the body reacts to stress. If you're constantly in a stress state, you are more prone to sicknesses, allegedly. You know, I like what we say on these YouTube streets, but this is what it's about. They put you in a fucking city. They put you in an oversized tombstone, my nigga. Big ass building with 60 other families in it. This is stress conditions, bro. You got to deal with chaotic ass neighbors to the left of you chaotic ass neighbors to the right to you and then we're not talking about thought entanglement you're getting your fucking thoughts entangled with some of these people that's around you okay so this is all set up by design to stress the body the fuck out stress your ass out because with stress comes the mucus right and with mu mucus is mucus is, is a direct direct reflection direct co correlation with sicknesses allegedly we got to watch how we talk on these youtube streets because Niggas been trying to get niggas up out of there. I'm surprised I'm still around on this YouTube shit. I thought they would have got me up out of there already. You feel me? I thought they would have got, got me up out of there. And I guess my first couple strikes is they done now. You feel me? So now I got a couple strikes now. So I don't give a fuck. I might say some shit on this bitch because I got a couple strikes to play with. Like I said, you can't get three strikes within 90 days or your page is deleted. This why some niggas getting a fucking page. Every niggas getting a page deleted every month. Just don't post no videos for a month, nigga. These niggas is weird, bro. But honestly, we know about the shadow, man. We know niggas is censoring the information in these times. So like I said, I'd rather have my a small YouTube page where I'm connected to spiritual siblings and people that actually listen than to have a fucking huge ass YouTube page where mad bots is following you, getting attacked in your physical life and shit like that because I'm not playing, nigga. I'll cut a nigga head off if a nigga try to pull up on me or something, come in my private home or something on some funny fuck shit, nigga. You feel me? Nigga, I'm indigenous, nigga. Indigenous minded, my nigga. You feel me? So like I said, ashwagandha, very important in these times. It helps the body with stress. Okay, helps the body with stress. Go get this exact product. It's very good. And you can throw this shit in your water, put it in your smoothie. But like I said, ashwagandha in these times, even if you want to get the root, the root form, very good in these times. Okay, you got certain things that talk about it, but they don't know the metaphysics behind these sacred roots. Okay, ashwagandha, like I said, it lowers the stress within the body. Okay, and overall, it's going to produce peace. All right, you're going to be in a harmonic state when you're dealing with some of these ancient roots that our ancestors used to deal with. And like I said, uh, detoxing the body from chemicals and shit that may get in it too, because believe it or not, my nigga, we, we in, the, in, this, in these t times and days, we all eat chemicals, okay? We all eat GMO foods, my nigga. There's no way, even if you straight on some organic shit, once in a while, you're going to intake some of these GMO, GMOs and some of these foods with chemicals in it. So like I said, the herbs help cleanse the body. Okay, the herbs help cleanse the body. Oh yeah, peace, Jess. Thank you, yo. Appreciate appreciate the uh, positive energy and the vibes. Appreciate it, yo. Yeah. Y'all send y'all send the shit out. Let's let's get you to hunt it to uh 1k subscribers in the next couple months, man. Let's get to 1k before my birthday. My birthday next month, May 22nd. Let's get it, y'all. We got it. And if we don't, it's whatever. Like I said, I know we in an algorithm. And like I said, family, I can't lie. I really do want my YouTube page to stay little, bro. This is why I don't... I could fucking edit videos and put crazy edited videos on here. Nah, but I keep this shit raw. I like to go live to tap in with you guys because this is the real me. Okay? And like I said, a lot of these YouTube niggas that you may watch, bro, some of these niggas can't even fucking go live because they're weirdos. These niggas is weird. They have no personalities. They have no uh, etheric steam within them. These niggas is just bots, all right? So this is why they do pre-recorded videos and shit. To go live with your with your audience and shit like that, the people that are watching you is very good in these times because people get to see the real you, all right? So like I said, before we get started, hit me up for the crystals, y'all, the Herkimer diamonds. And like I said, tap in with some of these herbs to cleanse the body from some of these chemicals, family, all right, and, and help you with this biological warfare that we all are going through, especially in America, all right, especially in America. So another thing, too, before we talk about this, I just want to ask the ancestors, you know, especially Harriet Tubman, to guide me with this information and help me to speak clearly and to uh, just tap into some of the knowledge 
and, and certain things that they were going through uh, during that time, okay? Because it's completely different. And this is something too, a lot of you motherfuckers in these times are forgetting about what happened. This doesn't mean to have hatred in your heart towards a race because we're gonna also talk about certain European families that helped our ancestors escape from slavery. We're gonna, I'm gonna mention a couple names. You guys can go tap in with some of these names and, and just, you know, send send messages. Yo, thank you. Somebody somebody get a message randomly, thank you, and they won't know. But spiritually, like, my nigga, you helped my great, great, great grandma. You feel me? You helped my, you helped my great, great grand, my great, great cousins back then, bro. Like, I wouldn't even be, you feel me? A lot of niggas in the Northern Hemisphere wouldn't even be around if it wasn't certain people that was helping with the uh, Underground Railroad. All right? So this is why I don't have hatred in my heart for no race, bro. And when you start tapping into some higher vibrational higher vibrational thoughts and shit like that, when you start to become a higher vibrational, you lose the hatred in your heart for any type of, you feel me, any type of negative shit or another race, you you, you lose that. You don't have that within you anymore because you overstand certain things that happen. Okay? You won't overstand. Now, let's get into this, man. Okay? This is going to be, like I said, I'm going to ask the ancestors to just lead me the right way. I'm going to ask Ari Tummy to just lead me the right way in the direction with the information. Um, that I'm presenting to you guys today because this is some real shit, all right? And I feel this shit in my spirit, okay? Like I said, I truly feel like my ancestors were a part of the Underground Railroad. Judah Gemini Honey wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Harriet Tubman and certain spiritual conductors that guided us through the fucking wilderness, my nigga. So let's get it. Let me share my screen, yo. Let me share my screen, man. Yeah, peace, peace, family. Peace, peace to the gods. Peace to the goddesses, all right? So before we talk about anything, right, we're going to look at this map. We're going to look at this map. Now, this is very important, okay? Now, if we look at this map, right, you see the colors. You see the map with the colors that are purple? These were the states that allowed slavery during 1860. So you had Texas, Arizona, Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. All these were slave states. All of these were slave states, and anything above that, they were not allowing slavery. Okay, they were not allowing slavery. This is why in the north, you had a lot of free blacks. You had niggas, they weren't talking about the rich black people that were in Philly, that were in fucking Ohio, my nigga, that were in New York, all right, that were in New Jersey. There was free blacks here that established businesses that were fucking rich. Okay, and this is where Black Wall Street comes from because when we went to war with the when we went to war with the Gullah with the uh the gullah wars and shit like that and we started warring with some of these slave masters and shit like that we realized like wait hold on we got to really form our own community where we can do our own business together and just create our own and this is where black wall street comes from black wall street comes literally after slavery okay it comes after um it comes after they signed you know the whole declaration of independence shit all right it comes after that but anyway the, the states that were in purple these were slave states, okay? These were slave states, all right? Now, you can already see the routes, okay? And, of course, they don't have all the... These are just, these are just, you know, um, these are just, this is just knowledge handed down from the ancestors, okay? We created this map, these maps, all right? Harriet Tubman's family created these maps because Harriet Tubman actually had maps that she, she had in her possession before she transcended. So their family took them, and yes, th these are maps from... Harriet Tubman, and these are ways that we came up to the north, right? Now, when we look at some of these paths, okay, we look at the Appalachian Mountains. Has any have any of you guys been there? Have any of you guys been to the fucking Appalachian Mountains in Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky? Have you ever even rode through that land? Well, think about this real quick. Have any of you guys rode through? Because this was a major route in the Underground Railroad. Okay, Florida to Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. This right here, on the on the East Coast, that was one of the main routes that Harriet Tubman took to get to the Northern Hemisphere. Now you have to look at this area, though. This area is 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 a wilderness, abundant family. These are mountains, wilderness, country, land, family. And mind you, we was on foot, bro. We wasn't on horsebacks. My nigga, horse, horses made too much noises. So Harriet Tubman, this was a journey on foot. This was a journey on foot, bro. Can you imagine walking from Florida to New York? 
I'm gonna give y'all a minute, man, because this is some real shit. Think about what the ancestors had to do to get to slavery. And a lot of you motherfuckers in this day complaining about the littlest shit. That's why I don't fuck with niggas who's dealing with fucking uh uh emotional weird ass demons. Then you got the rage demon, nigga. You don't even understand what the fuck our ancestors went through, nigga. You wouldn't have no type of animosity, my nigga. If you had to walk from Florida to New to New York to us to to uh escape niggas that was trying to fucking cut your head off for nothing. So this is this is what you need to get in tune with, especially if you're complaining about the littlest shit in your fucking life. You had you there was nothing, there's nothing that you can go through in these modern times that can compare to what the fucking ancestors went through. All right. And I'm sorry to cuss so much, but this is the passionate energy. This is passionate. Because like I said, thinking this shit it resonates with my spirit. Okay, it resonates with my spirit and, and how they mix the indigenous and uh, Americans with certain Africans that came here, they mixed this all up so we wouldn't be able to tell. Like, okay, this is a this is an Indian nigga from already from America. Okay, you are African. You feel me? They mixed this all together, which we are the same people. Don't really matter. But in these times, we do want to kind of establish, like, okay, I'm African. All right, I'm a, you want to establish that in these times. Back then, it didn't matter. In these times, it's starting to matter because, like I said, the indigenous Americans we come with a whole different spirit. I mean, we come then we come with a whole different spirit than a fucking African. No disrespect though, to nobody, bro. But this is the shit that we have. We got to talk about this. We got to start laying some of this information on the table. So, if we think about that, some of these roots, and like I said, everything was on foot. Everything was on foot. We was walking, bro. We was cutting through the fucking mountains and wilderness. This is why some of us is really in tune with nature for real. And it, it comes, it comes from the ancestors, nigga. Having to, having to live out there, nigga, just be, to escape things. All right, to escape things. Now you would think there were so many tactics to catch runaway slaves, and I'm not gonna, we're not gonna go too much into, into that. And like I said, I'm gonna definitely have this is, I'm gonna be talking about this, and I'm gonna be making a couple videos on this, bro. All right, but so there was tactics that we used, right, to get to the north. We didn't have GPSs, okay. We didn't have maps that we could look at. All right, this was Harriet Tubman who took the first couple routes, and she kind of mapped it out just. Being, being a spiritual conductor, the ancestors lined her up to be able to maneuver through the wilderness. A female, that's why I said a woman is God, because she had the spiritual uh, connected with her, not to mention the astrological bodies in the heavenly realm, right? We look at the North Star, okay? This is very important to our ancestors, the North Star. This is how we were able to get to the North, by looking at the celestial body, the North Star. We were looking because we know that stars are, 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 are living beings, okay? These are not, these are living entities up there. Okay, so and in and, and these times, the North Star is actually dimming. You damn near can't even see the North Star anymore because this was a spiritual thing, and this was just for those times. So the ancestors can escape the South due to the constellations, bro. We was looking at the North Star like, okay, I know I got to go this way. You feel me? I got to go this way right here. This, okay, I see the North Star. Okay, the North, she, she out tonight. I see her in the heaven realm. We out. Wow. Wow. We hitting my, my nigga. We running through these swamps. You feel me? In Florida, too, a swamp lands for all the tribes that had to escape from Florida to come. Bro, that shit swamp lands, nigga. That shit swamp lands. Everything spiritual. There's stories of the ancestors making their way from southern Florida, right? Escaping certain slave catchers, and they're going, they're going through the swamps, right? And these swamp creatures, these alligators, crazy ass snakes, they wasn't attacking the ancestors, but they was attacking the niggas that was following them and trying to capture them. All right, because we were in direct communication with the nature, animal kingdom. You feel me? There's tons of stories of us uh, communicating with certain animals around, and these animals is doing the dirty work, nigga. These animals is cutting niggas' heads off. You feel me? Word, bro. Shit real, bro. Shit real. So like I said, we had, a, we had to escape from the South to get to the North, and I just wanted to talk about that before we really start talking about Harriet Tubman, right? And, and just the fact that you guys got to really think about this journey that happened. Think about Bro, think about that journey, bro. And that shit took months to get up here on foot, bro. To walk from fucking, look at this map right here, y'all. Think about if you in Austin or something and you got to walk all the way to upstate New York. Because the city that I'm from, um, I'm literally like damn near an hour away from Harriet Tubman's house. All right. And Harriet Tubman took, they said that Harriet Tubman, they tell, they're telling us that she only made like 20 trips, which is a lie. You feel me? She made over like two, two, three hundred trips, bro. All right, and they say in all right, let me look this up. And they try to tell us that Harriet Tubman only helped 70 slaves escape. This is utter bullshit. This is the this is actually disrespectful. 
Okay, Harriet Tubman actually helped over 100,000 slaves. All right, and if you dig a little deep, you will find the right information and the right numbers of how many people she helped free. Okay, how many people she helped escape from slavery. Okay, she helped over 100,000 ancestors. Okay, so don't get that twisted, bro. These motherfuckers try to tell you she only helped 70 to 100. Nigga, you must, are you serious? And, and that's just if you type it in Google. If you do a little bit more research, you'll start finding the real knowledge of how many people she actually helped escape from slavery. Okay, so if we read a little bit on this, right? All right, now I'm not, uh, hold on, let me see something. Let me see, let me make sure the stream is going good. Anything good, let me know if the audio and shit is good in the chat because this is very important, okay? So like I said, right? Uh, Okay, so if we just read a little quick snippet real quick on, on the queen, right? Um, Harriet Tubman is the most famous conductor. Like I said, she's a spiritual conductor, right? Over a decade, she took 90 trips back to the South and guided friends and family to freedom. Every trip was danger was a dangerous trek, okay? And like they said, it was dangerous, bro, because at any time you could run into, you know, uh, people who was literally, it was different back then, family, all right? And we got to really watch what we say on here, but it, it's the most craziest shit that you could ever even think of, okay? It's the craziest shit that you could ever think of, especially for some of these people who have that slave catcher spirit which I truly believe resides in, in certain police, not every police. And, and, and that has to do with the oath they take in order to become a cop. This shit is spiritual. You go, you do that oath, that shit is a ritual, police, man. You going through a ritual. And and you right there and then just being a sheep, you might not realize, my nigga, but you're getting a spirit preyed upon your ass. And this spirit is an ancient spirit of the slave catchers. All right? This is why anytime I ever interact with the police, I feel some shit in my fucking spirit. Like, I feel like I'm about to die or something. I shouldn't be feeling like that dealing with the police. But like I said, all this shit is spiritual. And like, I, I know what type of spirit that I have within me. And I realized that I got an ancient spirit. And there was a one, there was points in my, uh, and, and within the blood, my ancestors were going through traumatic events, dealing with people who have the spirits of the, the, the demon spirits, the devil spirits that just want to kill some shit. All right. It, it's crazy. And like I said, some of these police have that type of spirit, bro. Word, nigga. And I don't give a fuck. Niggas can take that how they fucking want to take it, you know? But I, I've dealt with too many motherfucking uh, police that just were really, bro, you you got me on the ground with your gun pointed on me for no reason, my nigga. It's a regular traffic stop, bro. Just because there's four four black niggas in here, y'all niggas got y'all guns out pointed on. It smelled like a little weed, but that ain't enough to damn near kill a nigga. You feel me? That's all we had was just a little bit of reefer. You feel me? And this, like I said, that I've had the cops draw their guns out on me more than five or six times for just regular traffic violations and just regular shit nothing crazy yo so you know and that this is my my outlook on it this is my outtake on um certain law enforcement bro you feel me it's so law enforcement might be watching it's like this is not how we are okay but this is just what i went through as a black man in america you feel me and like i said i know all cops aren't bad i know that bro i got niggas who i went to high school with who turned into motherfucking uh co's and police bro i got niggas i know you feel me i don't they not i don't fuck with these niggas like that but i know them you feel me like but it's all it's it's all spiritual it's energetic okay it's all spiritual this is why like i said certain brothers in these times still it's not really a fear energy it's just we are ancient spirits bro so we feel what our ancestors went through when we deal with some of these slave catchers okay in the form of law enforcement not all law enforcement but you guys know where i'm getting at bro this video is for the chosen ones, bro. Don't come on here and no negative shit or just listening to a couple things thinking I'm not, bro. There's some real frequency shit. There's some real shit. There's shit that I deal with on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis, okay? I got pulled over a month ago for nothing, for the color of my skin. Dead ass. There's nothing wrong with my car. Nothing, bro. I got pulled over because I was black. It's simple. Simple. I don't want to hear nothing else. You feel me? So, and this all ties in to... What the ancestors had to go through, bro. All right. What the ancestors had to go through, right? Now to just throw in a little fun fact, right? Just to throw this in. When we look at food, when we look at hush puppies, right? It's a certain food. Like you would think about it. Why the fuck would we call? Uh, why would we call this food hush puppies? This is a direct reflection of what the ancestors used to do when we was on these routes. Because you have these slave catchers and these dogs that were following us, my nigga. So what we would do is we would throw 
hush puppies on our trail so the dogs would eat the food and not really have our scent. We were smart, nigga. We was moving different, bro. We was moving different. We was moving. We was throwing food on our route so the dogs that was chasing us would eat the food and, and lose our scent. That shit smart as fuck. Not to mention how we also put certain under underground on the routes in our hair, my nigga. Where you think cornrows and shit come from, bro? The ancestors was putting certain certain maps on the on the head of the slaves on the head of the ancestors. So when we knew to move out, okay, go get little Johnny. We gotta look at his head because the map is in his head. You feel me? Go get little Johnny, bro. You feel me? This is what we was doing, bro. We was leaving maps within the hair. Okay, this is where cornrows come into play. This is where cornrows come into play. All this shit was spiritual. This was spiritual. This was spiritual stuff. Okay, this was spiritual stuff, y'all. All right. Okay, so now, right, if we read a little bit more on Harriet Tubman, right? Uh, if we read a little bit more on Harriet Tubman, it says pretty much Harriet Tubman, right? Like she started this because just like all the ancestors, what they used to do was break up the families, okay? And this will cause more stress and traumatic energy among the slaves, therefore able to break them easier. Because think about it. If you ain't got your motherfucking family around, you just sad, bro. You easier to get. You just like, fuck it. You just be done. And this is what some of the ancestors were going through, bro. You feel me? They was taking, they was taking the, 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 the male energy away, keeping the female, splitting the kids up, aunties and cousins. They were splitting all that up because they knew the power of the family together. All right, so this is why this is what started under uh, this is what started Harriet Tubman with the Underground Railroad, and she pretty much got split up from her family, right? So if we read, let me pull this up a little bit. We read a little bit, right? It says pretty much her slave owner, uh, her slave owner died, right? And Borston's wife, uh, to pay her husband's debt, she needed to sell some of her slaves. This is what they would do. They would sell the slaves to get money. All right, when they were in debt. This shit kind of sick, but this is what they was doing, okay? And not to mention, and, and let's go back a little more, the um, black people were the first people to enslave anybody, okay? These European races learned the slavery shit from us. It's just we forgot who the fuck we were, my nigga. We don't talk about the dark ages. We don't talk about, you know, the time before slavery, bro. This was just a little time, and I'm going to tie this into why people think the creator gods abandoned us and they did abandon us for a little while due to certain things that we were doing but i'm gonna talk about that later on after we talk about this so if we read a little more right tubman did not want to be sold away from her family and in and into the even more brutal conditions of slavery of the deep south because like i said back then family it was the most craziest shit that you could think that they were doing to our uh our people okay and this is where you know, I can understand how some niggas would be like, I don't believe in the Bible, nigga, I don't believe in God or some shit like that, because why would God allow this to happen? And there was a time when I thought like that, too. All right. There was a time when I thought that, too. But when you understand history and you realize that we fucked up when it comes to the creator gods, my nigga, we were damn near, we were damn near really gods on earth. And then we just started to worship other gods. We started to do pagan weird ass shit, my nigga. And so the creator guy was like, damn, my nigga, y'all niggas was my only people on this earth, nigga. What the fuck is y'all doing? You feel me? I gave y'all niggas everything. And I'm this is a this is a real nigga perspective, bro, because this is all I could come from, right? This is what this this is how I feel like the creator gods would be. Like, yo, I gave y'all motherfuckers everything. I gave you beauty, strength, good genes, nigga, damn near Im immortality. All right, because the ancestors before we got the telemetry cap encoded in the DNA, we was leave, we was living two thousand years, nigga, fifteen hundred years. You feel me? Uh, shorty would be 100 years old. She still looked like she's 21. You feel me? And there's stories of that, of Joseph and shit like that, of, of his wife, Sarah. Okay? How she was damn near 60, 70 years old, but she damn near looked like a teenager. You heard? Like, aging beautifully. So, this is this is where, you know, uh, I can understand some people can say, damn, my nigga, I don't believe in, you know, I can understand that. But like I said, if you really start to understand why, and, and how great of a people we were before that 400 years of, 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 of getting our ass whooped, okay? Um, I'll, you know, you, you overstand it like, damn, son. And I'm not trying to justify nothing, but you got to realize, bro, all this shit is, is, is for design, bro, okay? It's for design, my nigga. Slavery in a way, right, introduced the new gods to come in, all right, 
to connect the dots and to really change the architect of this reality and shit like that, okay? Dead ass family, all right? But like I said, I'm not justifying it because I have a really strong spirit. And sometimes I wake up and I, you know, I'm mad at the world sometimes, bro. But this is why I use some of my sacred sciences to help me with, you know, certain anger problems that niggas, because we all go get angry, especially when you start tapping into this knowledge and you realize what the fuck the ancestors was going through. But if you understand the whole purpose of this, bro, and the whole purpose was setting you up for today, young man, all right, to set you up today, higher vibrational, for you to understand this information and, and, and to unlock your DNA, right? And to become superhuman, bro. Word, my nigga. You feel me? Pretty soon we're going to start understanding all, bro. We're going to have all the stories, my nigga. And it's due to the DNA being unlocked. And it's due to you using more of your brain. All this shit is going to be more clear soon when it comes to certain guys that, bro, Harriet Tubman wasn't, bro, she was, she was led by, she was led by the gods, bro. You feel me? She freed over 100,000 ancestors, family, and she did it militantly. Like, it was like if, if she would have got caught in them, bro, they would have easily killed her, bro. But think about it. She never got caught. None of that, my nigga. It, it, it is said that Harriet Tubman did not lose one person, okay, when she was traveling and doing all these, when she was bringing the, bringing the family from the south to the north. She didn't lose nobody, all right? This is this is the story. She ain't lose nobody, bro. She ain't lose nobody. All right. And there's also stories of her bringing people up here, and they try to go back down south to do their shit by themselves, and they get captured and they get killed because they, they they wasn't they wasn't in tune, my nigga. You feel me? That's some whole other shit. If I bring you up here, bro, stay up here, my nigga. You don't even know how to. You don't know the routes and shit. So why are you gonna try to go back there and do that shit by yourself? You feel me? So there is stories of certain certain ancestors coming back and then try to make they move back down there to do what Harriet Tubman was doing and it didn't work. All right. But that's different. When Harriet Tubman had people on her watch, she ain't lose nobody. OK, she ain't lose nobody. Bro. All right. So just to read on a little more. Right. It says uh, the brutal conditions of slavery in the deep south in the fall of 1849, she escaped from slavery alone. All right, this woman escaped from Georgia and she went to Florida on foot, walked through the wilderness, family on foot. She might have had a horde, but you know, there's stories of them on foot, bro. You know, and there's also stories of them having to drug kids that were under like six or seven and little babies. They had to drug them, okay, to keep them quiet, my nigga. This is the type of shit we had to go through to escape slavery, bro. Think about that shit. You got your little baby right here. She's three years old. It's like, damn, you got to give her something to make her sleep. <laughs> For damn near this whole journey, nigga, you gotta make her you feel me so she don't cry, so we all don't get caught. Okay. Word. And they don't there's a there's a movie out on, on uh Harriet Tubman, but this they're not giving it up how they supposed to give it up, bro. This shit was treacherous, family. This shit was treacherous. Our ancestors were going through crazy ass things to escape slavery, bro. Um, all right. So Go to Queen right here. Let's just put out some energy towards her. You feel me? Peace to the Queen right here. You know, this Harriet Tubman, like I said, uh, her house is like an hour from my city. You know, I, I visited on multiple occasions. Um, the energy there is, is special, bro. You could just still feel the energy of the, 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 the ancestors still there, okay? Because they were happy, bro, to escape those conditions in the South and to come up here and to be able to be a free black, to open your business up, to not worry about. And don't get it twisted back then. Though, you still had your pockets of whites that was fucking still evil and shit like that. You know, but overall, you know, it was a, it was a better place to live back then to, to live in the North. Right. And another thing, too, to tie in other families. And this is why, you know, when when it comes to racism and shit, and how I don't really tolerate that is because, like I always told you, all there were European families that actually helped this queen on her journey. OK, there were European families that helped because they knew that slavery was wrong. OK, because they were higher vibrationals. All right. They were higher vibrationals. So, you know, just to name a couple families that helped our ancestors. All right. Uh. One dude's name was John Fairfield. Okay, now John Fairfield has an interesting story. He was a European man, right? And his parents actually owned slaves. Okay, his parents were slave 
owners. So the fact that this man went directly against his family and hid some of the slave, like he, when he got older, he was, he was, he was a high part of the Underground Railroad because he was helping our ancestors and hiding them, okay, in certain points of the Underground Railroad. And he was, a, he was a high up white. He was a high up farmer white. He was a high up nigga. So they wasn't even looking at him thinking that he was hiding slaves. Okay, and like I said, you had a bunch of people that were helping our ancestors, bro, because they knew that this shit was wrong. And spiritually, nigga, in the astral realm, they good. All right, you good, bro. If you help, if you help one of our ancestors that are in need, especially in these times, this is for the Europeans. You help any of our people that is, that need help, bro. You're gonna get blessed in the astral. Okay, you're gonna get blessed. Simple. All right. So John Fairfield, shout out to him. He was an Ohio man because Ohio was another. Um, high point within the Underground Railroad, okay, because we was going Ohio, Chicago, and then we make our way to the, to uh, upstate New York, okay? Upstate New York was, was pretty much the destination for all the Southern families, okay? This is where we were, upstate New York, my nigga. Simple. This was the area where a lot of our ancestors were heading, all right? Also, another uh, couple more families. I want to put out some more um, frequency to these European families that helped our ancestors. So we got John Fairfield, right? And then we also got another guy by the name of Levi Coffin. So the Coffin family. Okay. And I know a couple Coffins. That shit is deep. I know a couple Coffins in the area where I'm at. All right. He was a Quaker. Okay. This is a Quaker family. So these were people who were, you know, pretty much farmers in tune with their land and they helped out our ancestors, bro. The Coffin family. All right. Shout out to the Coffin family. Shout out to the Fairfield family. OK, just to name a couple families that helped our ancestors. All right. And tomorrow or the next day, I've been wanting to show you guys certain houses in my area where they have plaques devoted to the Underground Railroad. And I'm going to show you guys these plaques. All right. I'm going to show you guys all these plaques. Uh, the spirit is damn near moving me to go to Harriet Tubman's house. Maybe do a live video, do a, do a video over there because I know certain family in the country can't get here and to see it. So, you know, the fact that I live so close by it, you know, I want to take you guys there to really show you, put the boots on the ground and really show you how the queen was living. OK. Um, so, like I said, man, when it comes to, you know, believing that all Europeans were uh all Europeans have something to do with slavery is completely false, family, because like I told y'all, man, you had a lot of good Europeans, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, that was hiding our people, okay? That was a part of this underground railroad right here, all right? It's damn near as soon as they got to the north. Let me show y'all. Let me, let me say a couple more things. As soon as they got out of these purple states, so you got, you got Illinois, you got Ohio, right? You got Cincinnati, you got Philadelphia, Mostly all the houses that they they stopped at in the northern hemisphere, these were white people that helped. Simple, because you you only had a couple, especially in the early 1860s, you only had a couple uh, black families that owned houses. All right, and, and we really started to go hard in like the early 1900s. This is when we really started to establish ourselves and really buy property. But during the early 1800s, when we were escaping slavery in the northern hemisphere, so any any county that you see that is uh, white on this map. There was white families that were helping our people. Family. Simple. All right. Simple. Hundreds of European families. All right. That helped us escape these conditions from the South. All right. Simple. OK. And you can see at the end of the arrows, these were where our ancestors. This was the end goal. Like, OK, we got pockets up here in Buffalo. OK. Buffalo was a really um, a really uh renowned place for our ancestors to go. This is why in Buffalo, we established ourselves crazy. You had a lot of black leaders that came out of Buffalo in the early 1900s because we were free, bro. We were free, free blacks up here. So we was moving different. We were saying different shit. Niggas was intelligent. We were able to read and shit like that. All right. And then look, you have, you know, you got Albany, Buffalo, Rochester. Okay. And then up more. Okay. We are also heading to Canada. So, you know, you got a lot of niggas in Canada that come from the South, okay? They might not realize that, but then, bro, if you link in your ancestry, my nigga, your ancestors come from Florida, okay? I know my ancestors come from the South. I still got ancestors. I already know. I, I, I follow my ancestors. I know my ancestors come from the South. 
but we also look at Boston and shit like that. But all these were just routes that we would pick up more people and then eventually go to the end arrows. Okay, the, at the end of the arrows, these were the safe places. This is why Harriet Tubman resided right over here by Buffalo in a place called Auburn. Right, that shit is like a two or three hour ride from Buffalo. It's literally in the middle of the state. Beautiful area. Okay, and I understand why she was settled there. Okay, I understand now being up here, seeing the beautifulness of upstate, seeing the abundance of animals and shit like that, water, all right, you got good good uh, streams and shit like that, good fishing, I can understand it, I can understand why why the uh, ancestors w- would come up here, okay, so just to look at this map more, you know, every time I look at this map, it just, it taps me and it just makes me realize, like, damn, bro, the journeys that some of us had to go through back then, bro, like, can you really imagine walking from Houston, Texas to upstate New York, bro? Walking, my nigga. You got to walk, bro. Ain't no road, bro. There wasn't no paved roads. None of that, bro. You walking through woods. You walking through wilderness, bro. And you got your family, my nigga. And you're escaping people that want to cut your head off. And if they catch you, it's over, bro. Simple. <laughs> my nigga, there was so many. Um, Even if we look at the books of the, the public hangings, bro, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy, not to mention the people who did crazy shit and didn't document it because you had your pocket of motherfuckers that was doing that too. Just going through killing niggas for no reason just because I'm a black nigga walking on the back road trying to get home and y'all niggas just see, you feel me? Look at the whole Emmett Till thing, bro. That shit crazy, bro. Look at the Emmett Till, you feel me? The Emmett Till situation, you know? You look at the Emmett Till situation, that shit was crazy, but you got to think about it. How many times has that happened, you know, before that? You feel me? And this where I understand this where the passionate energy comes from. Okay, but like I said, it's duality, bro. You have the good whites and the bad whites, bro. Just like if we look at some of these interdimensional beings. You got some of these good interdimensional beings. You got the, you got the bad ones. All right? Even to this day, you can still go to the South and see certain people that, that still vibrate at that racist spirit. That's why I said I don't tolerate that race shit, bro. My ancestors went through too much, bro. I love everybody, nigga. You feel me? I love everybody, nigga. Any, I don't care what color you are, but if you come to me with that racist shit, you're going to really get your issue with me. Because that shit run deep with me, nigga. I had a white nigga call me a nigger one time. Bro. That nigga almost got beat to death, bro. And that, shit was, that shit was like two, three years ago, bro. You feel me? My neighbor. I had the neighbor from hell, my nigga. Y'all talk about this gang stalker shit. I really lived next to a demon before I moved into the place that I live in now, bro. Word. Nigga, bro, I almost had to beat that beat that man to death for calling me a nigga, bro. That shit crazy, bro. Nigga, I almost wanted to jail and all that behind that shit. That's a fact. So, like I said, okay, just to tap it a little more. Right, what y'all seeing in the chat? Yup, that's a fact. Yeah, Wikipedia and Google is definitely always sus, my guy. Always, always sus, bro. They they only give you damn near twenty five percent of the truth. So, like I said, with the Queen Harriet tell me you gonna have to dig a little deeper when it comes to how many people she actually helped. They try to give it up like she she only helped a hundred, two hundred people. Bro, serious? Seriously, bro? How you gonna discredit her like that, bro? What the fuck? And then when you start digging deeper, you under you then you get the real knowledge. Like, oh shit, she helped free over a hundred thousand motherfuckers, bro. She helped bring a hundred, a hundred, a hundred thousand of her ancestors up out of slavery, bro. You feel me? So, like I said, I'm a I'm gonna be talking about her a lot more on my page, man. Okay, and I'm gonna be like talking about this topic a lot more. And I'm going to be, sh- be showing you guys certain spots up here that are connected to the Underground Railroad. Because, like I said, I'm lucky enough to live in a city that is in direct lines of the Underground Railroad. There's houses that are literally two blocks from me that are connected to the Underground Railroad. That have the plaques and shit in front of it every- and everything. Okay, and they-, they recently turned it into a black church. So, you know, this is something we got to talk about more, man. All right? We definitely got to spread more light on... Uh, you know, certain ancestors that really made an impact and, and really helped free thousands of souls, man. 
You know, Harriet Tubman helped help free thousands of souls. You know, um, you know, like I said, just to talk a little more, right? We talk about the uh, 400 years of slavery and how this is in direct correlation within the Bible and how the creator gods are pretty much whooping our ass right now due to certain things that we did before slavery. Okay, now if we look at certain sto stories but before slavery, right? Before, like a couple hundred years before slavery, family, our people, we was wild on it. We was doing crazy sacrifices. Okay, we were doing human sacrificing. Okay, there's even stories of, of, of accounts of niggas eating babies and shit like that. So this is crazy. We got to talk about this shit. Allegedly, allegedly. Let's say allegedly, because that right there, me just saying that, that price, nigga, this video might get out of there just because of that. That's allegedly. Okay, but spiritually, you guys know where I'm going with this. Okay, spiritually, we know. Okay, we're doing. We were. We were. Uh, we were giving our energy to other deities, other gods out here. Okay, we we started to worship other gods, bro. All right, when we were in direct correlation, we were in direct direct connection with the Creator energy, bro. Okay, the Creator energy had a pocket of people on this physical realm, and we was moving for him. My nigga, this is where the Ark of the Covenant comes from. Certain spiritual wars, certain spiritual fucking weapons, my nigga. The crystal technology, bro. We was using some of these crystals to make fucking weapons, bro. We did not lose no war, bro. We just bring my nigga. We bring that motherfucker Ark of the Covenant out. The tribe of Levi will bring that Ark of the Covenant out, bro. Cause no other tribe, nigga. If you wasn't Haitian, you couldn't touch it. You could not touch the Ark of the Covenant. So say we was going to war with, you feel me? Anybody, my nigga, we was going to war, and, and we didn't go to war after certain certain. We only went to a couple wars and the motherfuckers wasn't fucking with, with the uh, the uh, creator God's favorite people. You feel me? They wasn't fucking with us because we would bring out that motherfucker Ark of the Covenant, nigga. The Levites will come out, nigga. You'll have the tribes. You'll have the king tribes out front, nigga, making way for the... All right, boom, go ahead. Open. Oh, y'all want to fuck with us? All right, go ahead. Go get the Ark of the Covenant. It's over, nigga. As soon as that shit open up, phew, nigga, everybody on the opposition just turned into dust. Foul. Nigga, you dust. If you ain't on our side, nigga, you turn into fucking dust, nigga, and then you get blown away by the air. This is what the ancestors was on, bro. When we was in tune with the creator energy, when we was really in tune with the most high, bro. All right, but this is what happened, bro. We started to wow out, nigga. And, and it's certain shit that this is what the Patreon is really for. It's certain shit that I can't even say certain shit that the ancestors just on. Pre-slavery. All right, pre-slavery. And like I said, this has nothing to... I'm not, I'm not here uh, making excuses for that shit or nothing because I'm the type of nigga. If I start thinking about the slavery and shit, what the ancestors went through with, through that 400 years, I'm the type of nigga that could lose it, bro. That's the type of nigga I am. I'm the type of nigga that could really, bro. So that's why I don't. I understand it, my nigga, and I overstand it though. You feel me? I understand why we had to go through that. You feel me? That shit sucks, and that's why I can't dwell on that spirit because that shit has started making me angry as fuck. And I'm not about to have hatred in my heart, bro, because that's one thing that really weakens your aura, my nigga. This is where you really can get possessed and shit like that. When you're running around angry all the time, bro, you got a weak aura, my nigga. This is how these entities possess you, bro. It's from being in a negative state all the time, bro. And how I know that, my nigga, because I'm boots on the ground, bro. I see certain niggas. I see some of my niggas dealing with this, the, uh, the, the rage demon, nigga. These niggas, these, some of my niggas, is, I'm not going to say my niggas, but certain niggas that I know around me, nigga, you liable to get killed for stepping on nigga's shoe by accident and shit. Shit like that. It's just because niggas be bottled up with so much negative energy. It's not the fact that you stepped on his shoe. It's the fact that he has so much negative energy within him. He's just waiting to pop. And this is why I told you, this is why we deal with sacred sciences. This is why we deal with nature and earthing, getting proper sunlight, drinking tons of water. All right. Having good vibrations around you, my nigga. Um, if you a masculine energy, go get you a queen that's going to help heal you. My nigga, because another thing too, a lot of you guys get in toxic relationships and your significant your significant other is not healing you properly, my nigga. You're supposed to get you're supposed to get with someone who has healing energy, okay? Who has the potential to heal you, bro, and is on the same frequency as you. Word. I tell I tell niggas like this, bro. If you're in a relationship and you argue, if you argue with that person within the first six months, it's not gonna work. Okay, relationships are supposed to be in in, in sync, all right. You're supposed to be in direct harmonization and in synchronicity with your partner, bro. You should not be in no type of arguments or nothing within the first six months that you're in a relationship. And if you are, it's not going to work. 
it's not gonna work, family. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you argue with your shorty within the first couple of weeks of you guys getting in tune and knowing each other, just let it go. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, bro. Y'all see what I'm drinking on? <laughs> Look at them seeds in there. Look at them seeds in there. Look at them seeds in there. They trying to take the seeds from niggas, bro. Everything seedless. Out of all the fruit, why you take the seeds out? Why would they do that, bro? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. They want to be in here saying some shit. You gotta think about it. That whole fact checking shit, all that shit is, is uh it's because of 2022. All right, it's because of 2022. The shot the sun literally sent niggas so many messages that niggas really started to unlock, bro. Niggas started to put out divine information in 2002. Everybody, most spiritual niggas out here, talking shit niggas was really tapping in in 2022, the year of the vision, the year of the third eye. And what happened was the infor the right information spread it like wildfire, wildfire. All right, the whole Jeffrey Epstein shit, the pizza gang shit, allegedly all that shit, the whole adrenal clone shit like that spread crazy. So they seen the spread of the information, the spread of the knowledge. So what they did was fact checking, mad bots, bro. They put mad censoring shit on everybody's shit, bro. Word, my nigga. You say certain things on this picture, shit is gonna be in it. And if niggas don't search for you, niggas will not watch the video, bro. Your shit ain't gonna be recommended at all. That's how it is, bro. That's how it is. So a lot of niggas who came in on this YouTube shit before 2000, uh, before 2000, before the, uh, 2020, your shit might have grew. But if you notice your shit since then, since 2020, it's just that the. the the information, nigga, any nigga tapping into spiritual information on this YouTube shit, your shit censored. Unless you a bot, unless you a spiritual bot, nigga. <coughs> but if you talking some real shit, if niggas ain't searching for your shit, they, they not putting your shit out, bro. And that's on me. But like I said, once in a while, niggas do slip through the cracks. You got a couple niggas who slip through the cracks, you know, but that be the ancestors working too. All right. So like I said, man. You know, just to tie in more a little bit more information before I get off of here. Uh, you know, this this was, you know, this is why the creator gods, right, um, abandoned us for a little while. Okay, but the frequency of the creator gods is back with us now, man. All right. A lot of us is protected. We really tapping into divine information. We're really heightening our our uh, our vibration due to the, the celestial bodies in the heavenly realm giving us this information, okay, unlocking our DNA within the age of Aquarius. Okay, so like I said, the creator energy is back within the chosen one, bro. Within certain certain pockets of people on this earth realm, bro, we, we, we are back connected. Okay, we are back connected. And that's the message of the night, bro, to let you guys know that, nigga, we back, bro. Those spiritual contracts have been fulfilled. Okay, the, the spiritual contracts have been fulfilled. You know, a lot of us are people of renown in the future. Okay, to do do due to certain things that we are doing today, family. A lot of us are people of renown in the future, man. This is why we get spiritually gang stalked. This is why we get physically stalked. Okay, this is why these agencies is, is watching niggas. This is why some of us is actually labeled to be black extremists when it's when niggas is not extreme, niggas love everybody. Why would you put a label on a nigga who loves every who walking around this bitch like a black Buddha, nigga? Why the fuck would you put some label on a nigga like that? He's a black extremist. Nigga, what the fuck, nigga? Nigga, my grandma is fucking white. Nigga type shit. Nigga, like, what the fuck? Shit crazy, bro. Shit crazy, my nigga. So it's like, this is what they doing in these times where they labeling certain niggas who's tapping into the buy information, tapping into the information of their ancestors. All right? And, and, and you could be labeled that too due to certain shit that you may search on Google or YouTube, bro. If you're watching a lot of empowered videos to just your true history and shit like that you could be labeled that too you could be on that that algorithm my nigga you feel me 
And that's why it's crazy. Any nigga, any nigga saying that they, you feel like it's just crazy, bro. Nigga saying that they connected to the CIA. I'm like, if you're the CIA, I don't care. Do what you got to do, bro. But we know that the CIA, the, um, the CIA has infiltrated and did certain fuck shit, bro. Even if we look at the whole case of Malcolm X and shit like that, that shit was an inside job, bro. Them police did that shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And that's allegedly, but that's how I feel in my heart. Fuck you talking about. So you saying you're aligning yourself with that nigga, you putting yourself in the in, in, in the seat that took away certain ancestors, nigga. Took away certain black and woman sides. Even if we look at the whole Nipsey hustle shit, I feel like that shit was some high up shit, bro. Like that shit wasn't no street shit. You feel me? Maybe the nigga behind the trigger was, but that shit was set in through motherfuckers who was high up, bro. Because Nip was trying to get niggas on it, bro. Nip was like, nigga, let's buy up these properties, bro. Let's start really tapping nigga. He was tapping niggas into generational wealth knowledge, and they don't want that shit. Look at Young Dolph, another nigga who was Tapping niggas into like, yo, shit, we got these this money, nigga. Let's start buying back our communities. And niggas was really buying, nigga, condos, apartment buildings, mad houses in the area where they were at. And what happens when you start to do that, bro? You set up generational wealth. Therefore, you become more powerful, bro. Therefore, your kids don't got to be working as hard, becoming bots. Because if you naturally five days a week just going to work, you're not working on yourself, bro. I don't give a fuck what you say. You go to work five days a week. And yes, I know you got to get the money, my nigga, because I go to work too. But it's like if you're constantly putting your energy on that, you have no time for self. You feel me? You, you have no time to to uh, heighten your vibration in these times when this shit is really needed. Okay? It's really needed in these times to do your spiritual work. You heard? But listen, family, quick little video, man. You heard? Quick little video. And like I said, I'm going to talk about this more on my page. I'm going to show you guys more stuff this summer dealing with the uh, Underground Railroad and um, dealing with certain things that the ancestors had to go through on this divine route all right and 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 we also going to tap more into the north star all right i want to do a whole video based on that celestial body the north star and how it's it's ironic in these times the north star is actually dimming okay some nights we can't even really see the north star anymore so it's like why in that time was the north star burning so bright i'm telling you, you got to think about it we were guided by a certain cel celestial bodies man and these people know this shit now too they know that this shit is spiritual now they understand this shit more this is why they had to go hard with the whole biological warfare, introduce certain things biologically to slow you down from your ascension to come to find that third eye, yo. You heard? That shit is an agenda. Calcify, to calcify your third eye, my nigga, have nigga straight fit, nigga, you not tapping into your spirit at all, nigga. That's how they want niggas to be in, the, in these times because the spiritual realm right now, especially for certain men to tap into it, is really powerful right now. The, the, the spiritual, astrological energy right now is spiritual, boy. But listen, yo, we up off of here. All right. Peace, love, and light. Stay guided on your divine journey, okay? No negative energy, bro. If you feel like the, the negative rage demons is coming upon you, this is why I make videos, family. Just tap into your spiritual sciences, man. Tap into your spiritual sciences, bro. Take your ass outside by yourself, nigga. Turn your phone off, nigga. Don't take your phone with you. Go sit by a fucking waterway. Go breathe in some negative ions, my nigga. This is why you in that type of state of mind, my nigga, because you're not out. Bro, you're not. Nigga, these niggas who be on the block doing the craziest shit, bro, if these niggas were to just go eat some fucking salad real quick for one week, nigga, eat some salad, go eat no meat, nigga, eat some salad, and go walk on that water route right there, nigga. One week, bro, your whole shit will change because that's what happened to me, nigga. And the ancestors guided me on that, bro. It took one, it literally took one meal, bro. It took one healthy ass meal and one herbal um supplement, bro. And that shit changed my whole life, my nigga. I can literally say today that I fucking shot a wheatgrass and just me eating a salad before I put anything else in my body when I was younger, but I should change my whole theory on food. It made me think different, changed everything because how I felt, my nigga. I took that wheatgrass, ate that salad, bro. I felt crazy, my nigga. Like, I felt like my body was just like radiating and vibrating, bro. Like, it was just the craziest shit ever, bro. It was to the point where it was almost too much, my nigga. Like, I almost had to take a nap. And I'm like, damn, I just, it was crazy. You feel me? And what happened was I think that shit helped unlock the DNA because it could be anything that unlocks your DNA, right? It could be sound. It could, like I said, it could be something you eat, something you drink, 
okay? It could even be you, you seeing some shit, all right? You may see a shooting star, next thing you know, your DNA activates, your shit just different. You just, next day, you're just waking up, researching shit. You just, this is all has to do with the activation. This is the superpowers, man, all right? It's slowly, slowly, you feel me? You slowly get your powers, bro. It's not no shit that's happening overnight, and it's also due to certain things you're doing, bro. You feel me? You got to do the right things out here, man. All right. So, like I said, family, I think that's about it. But um, we definitely, I'm gonna tap into this a lot more, man. This is this is a, a topic that I'm definitely gonna start talking about more. You know, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Harriet Tubman, just cover a little bit more things on on Harriet Tubman. While you know, I download infor- more information on it. All right, but I think that you know the ancestors and, and Harriet Tubman guided me good tonight. You know, just to channel certain en- energy. To, to you know, channel certain information to y'all, you know, through my avatar, bro. through me. Like I said, it's not no possession shit, none of that, bro. It's just recognizing energy, my nigga. <laughs> just like that, nigga. Recognizing energy, nigga. I'm not calling upon nobody to to do no harm, and I'm just calling upon my ancestors who went through certain things, bro, to tap into me and just help me with guide me to the right information because like i said bro it's so much bullshit information out here man and that's something that you guys got to pray for too like ask the most high to help you not get snared with certain information that's just gonna uh descend you spiritually you feel me ask the most high to help tap you into information that's gonna heal you energetically you feel me ask the most high to tap you into information that's gonna help protect you from certain things that is, that can harm you on this physical realm all right, like I said, us dealing with certain crystals and shit like that. If you really tapped in, my nigga, you turn invisible to negative energy. All right, this is why I walk around all the time, especially when I go out. You know, especially when I go out, you know, I don't go out too much, but you know, when I go out, I'm a tribal man, I'm a natural, I'm a clansman. You feel me? So I. I feel good around my tribe, remember that doesn't mean that I gotta be around the nah, bro. But once in a while I go out to little functions and shit like that, vibe with my clansmen. But when I do, I bring my black turtle, my arrowhead, right? Now look, this arrowhead. Now just the fact that, that I have the black turtle, one of the one of the number one crystals that helps with negative energy. You if you really tapped into it, you turn invisible to negative energy, though. You know, niggas ain't telling you turn invisible. Like me, I'll put it, I'll maybe put it on a rope and like just have it under my shirt like this, like on a little chain or something. Or I'll just keep it in my little pocket. I'll keep it in the little pocket though in your pants. You know, you got the little pocket in there. You know, I'll keep the joint in the little pocket, and that shit just helps. It's a warrior. It's a warrior frequency, bro. So niggas just if niggas do even feel some sort of way, you'll just have that warrior spirit within you due to the fucking black turtle might you got on. You know what I mean? Word. And it helps you. And it say I do have to get down with it. They gotta do something. Have to something do turn up. You feel me? That should help and protect me too. You know, I'm pretty sure that night that nigga I got jumped, I had that shit on me, family. And I nothing happened, bro. It seemed like there was a shield, bro. Niggas hitting me and shit. I'm just nigga guard up, nigga. You feel me? Guard up, nigga. Didn't get hit in my face one time. Nothing happened, bro. It's like six, seven niggas, bro. It was it was on me? You feel me? But it was like I had the. I had the shield around me, bro. Like, the shit was crazy. Feel I can't even lie. I got up out of there like, damn, nigga, I'm looking at myself like, yo, I ain't even. And my man good, too. Nothing happened to him either. You feel me? It was just some demons. Just seen a light, nigga, attack energy. And it's crazy because it's just crazy because it could have went completely left. But I don't even want to talk about too much of that because that shit could have went really crazy, family. Like, some real death energy type shit. And that was on both parts. That was on them niggas' parts and our part, too, because I didn't know what them niggas had, and them niggas ain't know what we had. You feel me? Simple. So <coughs> it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. <coughs> and the fact that I am a higher vibration, because, like, nigga, I damn near probably could have. Actually, I can't even say. I can't even say too much on here. But listen, y'all, you know, we tapped in. Like I said, we tapped in tonight, man. Um. Uh, hit me up, man. You know, I'm going I'm to keep repeating it. You know, I'm going to get my business out there with these crystals, bro. I really want to be a good, I want to be a top gym seller, bro, in my community. You know, I just got to tap more into it and keep downloading the information and just keep putting shit out there. But it's all, I feel like this is the start of something good. It's, it's coming slow, but it's starting. You 
feel me? The fact that I do have a big inventory and I have access to even bigger inventories, that's the start when it comes to the nigga selling gems or, or crystals and shit like that. You gotta, you gotta be able to have the inventory and to know where to get the product, you feel me? And for me, I, I like to go to the earth, bro. You know, there's a, there's a spot out in, um, in Georgia where they got a Herkimer farm. I'm, I'm not a Herkimer farm, but a, a Amethyst farm. And that shit, I'm trying to hit that shit up this summer. <clears throat> I'm trying to hit that shit up this summer. And uh, I'm trying to hit a couple more spots up this summer. But, you know? but yeah, yo, I'm about to get up off of here. This is definitely a good little build, a little bit of information. And like I said, tapping into this information, family, please do not lose yourself. Do not become angry and ignorant. And just because, don't do that, yo. You got to realize, man, and like I always tell you, it's a duality path. You got good white people, bad white people, bro. Simple. You got good black people, bad black people, bro. It's not about your colors, the type of vibration that you're coming with. So when you tap into this information, especially with Harry Tubman, if you really start diving down the deeper of uh, the rabbit hole a little more, you are going to come across certain stories that's going to hit you in pure passionate energy. You feel me? You're going to feel like fucking some shit up. Hell yeah, nigga, because that shit be happening to me sometimes. Just going through some of this information, like, I'm going to write fuck some shit up, nigga. That's why I like that racist shit. I don't tolerate that shit, bro. Hell no, nigga. Hell no, nigga. I don't tolerate no racist shit. Coming from no parties, brother. Really. But yo, listen, family. I'm out of here. Peace, love, and light. Stay ready. Never get ready.